New at six, I hate to say this, but allergy season far from over. Yeah, Lauren Linder spoke with an expert who says now may be prime time for ragweed, which makes it a prime time for asthma attacks as well. If you're allergic to ragweed and susceptible to asthma attacks, you'll want to be extra careful when you head outdoors over the next few weeks. Take a deep breath in. About seven years ago, Kristen Penna started getting treatment for allergies after she touched a horse and broke out in welts. All of a sudden it was, if I touched a horse, I would like have the anaphylactic shock. They're now under control, but once in a while her symptoms flare up. When you can't breathe, that's frightening. According to the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, asthma attacks spike this time of the year in mid-September because ragweed season is at a peak and kids are going back to school. They pass the viruses around and that magnifies the inflammation. Total of the two together cause the asthma attacks. Nearly 3,600 people die every year from asthma attacks, 10 every day, according to the CDC. But Dr. Walter Brumman of Allergy Asthma Centers in Wauwatosa says it's rare. They may have had symptoms they didn't realize that they were due to asthma and uh, delayed uh, too much. Dr. Brumman tells me ragweed will continue to be a problem until early October. In Wauwatosa, Lauren Linder, today's TMJ4.